London Job 2010, starring the cross between Jarvis Cocker and Mike Reed. We don't even know if we're waiting for anyone else. Oh, here it comes. First stop on Rampart Street, the junction with Kinder Street. You think it would have been Easter, the uh, building would have been refurbished, because obviously the company should be doing quite well this time of year, but, uh, but it's not happening. We're walking down to the spot of Star Place. Well, not walking right now, because uh, it's stationary. St George in the East Church over there. So standing in Tillman Street. And now walking away from Tillman Street. At the spot of a wonderful looking old school. Which is completely irrelevant to the case. This is the location of Star Place. Where Martha Tabram once lodged. Before she got thrown out and got herself eviscerated. But she didn't get herself eviscerated so we can ignore that bit. That Harris fencing seems to be a permanent fixture. That was, uh, that's been there for a few years now. <laughs> On Commercial Road, the orange building over there, number 245, that's where the Martin family business was. The uh, photographers, not the chap that took the mortuary shots, but the family of. The building over there being demolished. Continuing walking down Commercial Road. That Sydney Street, site of the Siege of Sydney Street, bit of a giveaway there. Siege House being that modern flats up there. Siege took place, so John says, on the right hand side at the top of the road. So you ain't gonna see it. There's the George Tavern at the junction with Sutton Street, Jubilee Street and obviously Commercial Road. It's where Catherine, previously known as Rose Millet, was drinking. Rob says it's been threatened with demolition a few times, can't think why. Beautifully preserved. <coughs> it's awful. It's awful. So Rob says there was an attack in 1892 and he should know. I'd never heard of it. Another woman called Smith. Disembarked from a tram with a man, they walked down here and he asked her to go to his office and she refused, so he pulled a knife on her and attacked her. And it was here. Thankfully I'm not the only one that hadn't heard of it, so I'm not being too stupid. So here's a little turn up for the books off Cable Street. This is uh, what's left of the school where the that great 60s Sydney Poitier film to Sir With Love was filmed. Lulu was here. Exactly the same as they were at that time. <laughs> I was doing a James Mason. Yeah. Well, that's why John does it and not me. Mental looking building now, isn't it? How weird. Still on Cable Street, very close to Limehouse now. King's Arms pub, seen better days. Has no relevance to anything. As it's given away by the date 1898 on it. So we are heading towards Limehouse now. A shutter speed of ripperologists. Standing over the Regent's Canal. There's the Royal Yacht Britannia over there. There's a serial killer in blue running away from the scene of his crime. We've now walked onto West India Dock Road. This is for Rob McLaughlin. Hello, Rob. This is where Joseph Martin had his offices in later years, in the 1890s. 
through the turn to the 20th century. I know all this stuff, of course. It's nothing to do with Rob telling me. No, no, no. I knew it all already. Another one Rob's found out for us, the spot of the murder of a woman called Lillian Hartney, who I've never heard of, in the 1940s. And uh, that's a picture of the same spot. She was killed by a big black block through her privates. Well found, Rob. Poplar bars, which ain't running no more. Apparently they were a shithole, and it's uh, probably why they're not there anymore. Richard Green, 1866, and indeed he is green, as is his dog. Not a clue why he's famous, uh, but I can see round the side there is the hull of a ship, so maybe he had something to do with painting ships green. Just a thought. Oh, God. Standing in the firing line. <laughs> There's Chris Street. Where Liz and John Stride had a coffee shop. Ain't much of the street left now. And obviously it's a great deal wider than I presume it was at the time. So the chance of the building being there are virtually zilch. But it's very close to the, uh, the popular bars. And, uh, oh, it's right next to All Saints Station. This is where Poplar Town Hall once stood, where the Catherine Miller inquest took place. But it ain't now. So we, had, we had no idea, well, I had no idea we were standing here. Poplar High Street, you think busy, you know, shopping street, not at all. Little side road, really. But that is the site of Clark's Yard, where Catherine Millett was murdered in uh, December 1888. You may know her as Rose Millett, and if you know her as that, you're wrong. Get with the program. <laughs> oh. yeah, there's some women about to start a fire. The spot's now been built over, so obviously it's uh, a few feet beneath us. But according to Rob, there's no reason to doubt him, of course. What I'm filming right now is the exact spot of the uh, of the Catherine Millet murder. Or strangulation by her starched collar, depending on what you want to believe. There, yeah, those people aren't allowed to come. They've all been naughty. They've got to wait for the coach. Look, it's a ventilation shaft. You could be able to see the very spot. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Site of Poplar Workhouse. As seen in People of the Abyss. Obviously a bit bigger than this. I might do a cutaway shot now, showing you what Peter Workhouse looked like. Yes, there we are. Oh, very clever. Oh. What do you that? <laughs> Windows Movie Maker. It's a wonderful creation. <laughs> and now let's move back again. There we are, real life again. I'm so clever. to be a pub there called the White Horse and this is all that remains. Again, I knew this had nothing to do with Rob telling me. All old buildings, wharfy things around Limehouse. Many have gone to the pub. We're going to Monsoon for a carry.
London job. Four or five? Four, thank you. London job four. Here endeth the walkie. <laughs> Not overly exciting, but we're on uh, the highway near Cable Street. Tetsuko Garage there is uh, the site of the, the most important of the Ratcliffe Highway murders. Order. Here we are, Breezers Hill. Of course, where Mary Kelly allegedly once lodged. Not greatly different. Oh. Seconds after happening, he's just crossed the street and he's taken his vehicle onto one of those bollards. And uh, his, yeah, his radiator's had it. Literally happened about five or six seconds ago. Just a big bang. The car's having a wee, it's so scared. That's all. Oh boy. Ripperologists playing football in Mitre Square. <laughs> Serious Ripper historians, learned gentlemen and ladies playing football with a tennis ball on the site of a murder of a Ripper victim. <laughs> Liza kicking a ball from the murder spot of Catherine Eddowes. Word that should have been shouted on the 30th of September 1888. <laughs>